Hey, good morning. Here it is, Thursday morning. It's the 15th day of October, already mid-October. How about that? And it feels like mid-October. It's still a little cool out here. Notice I got the heavier shirt. This is almost like a sweatshirt, you know? And I think that's going to feel really good out there this morning. It's 50 in Montgomery, some of Prattville and Alexander City at 48. Auburn's at 55, so much like yesterday morning. No breeze out there, no fog problems to worry about. We have some interesting things to talk about, though, especially in the 7 to 10 day time period. If you're ready, here we go. There's a sign of the time with frost and freeze warnings, portions of the Dakotas down into Nebraska with that new cold air mass coming out of Canada. Of course, we're not going to see frost or freeze here yet. I think 85 to 87 looks good for a high today. I saw one model said 90. I don't believe that. That's too warm, but it's going to be a warm day. If you're going to the Otago County Fair tonight by about 6 o'clock, 80 degrees, temperatures falling into the 70s at the fair tonight. I've lowered the rain chances in Lexington, Kentucky to 5 to 10 percent. I think it's going to be a dry game uh, with uh, kickoff temperatures. 68, end of the game around 62 in Lexington for the uh, Auburn-Kentucky game. There's tomorrow morning. The front is in central Alabama, but still a warm day. We're still in the 80s tomorrow, but I think uh, Saturday, breezy and cool. A nice day ahead. Not as cool as the GFS. Look at the GFS is printing a high of 65 on Sunday. I don't believe that. And a low 43. No, that's too cool. That's too extreme. Here's my forecast. I say 85 to 87 tomorrow, hot and dry. And then breezy and cool, 71 Saturday. A morning low of 47 Sunday morning. And Sunday night's uh, low down to about 45. So crisp, cool weather ahead. That's nice. Wow, look at this. This is a week from now. Thursday, October 22nd, the GFS showing a frontal system approaching. Maybe some showers for Alabama, but what is that in the Gulf? Maybe tropical low pressure. There's the European solution. Also showing tropical low pressure developing in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. That's seven days out. Now let's look farther out. This is 10 days out. The GFS model showing... Ooh, look at that. Maybe a tropical storm approaching Louisiana. Now, again, th these are just model ideas. This may not pan out. We'll watch it. There's the European idea 10 days out on October 25th, confirming a tropical storm a little farther to the east there uh, approaching uh, Louisiana. We have several days to watch this, so we'll keep you up to date on that. You can uh, get my tweets all day long. I comment on the weather, Rich Forecaster. And by the way, you've been asking how you can post your pictures. You can post them in the comments section here, and I'll share them with everybody else. Or you can email me at richforecast at icloud.com. And again, when we talk about these things in the Gulf of Mexico, seven to 10 days out, that's a long time in the future, and the models may change several times. It'll be interesting. It'll be fun to watch, especially if you're a weather fan like I am. We'll have uh, a lot of days to look at it. I hope you have a great Thursday. The weekend is almost upon us. It's Friday Eve. Have a good one. Rich Thomas Weather.